kept seeing a car go into the water. All day they've been showing me reruns in my mind of adventures with purpose. BP's gonna find her in that in the Prosser Lake. We have found Kylie Rodney's vehicle. Again, our search for Kylie at Prosser Creek Reservoir on August 21st at 10. There are plenty of questions and very few answers after four students at the University of Idaho were found murdered in their off-campus house. It's like if you look at Ted Bundy's eyes and you look at his eyes, they're the same. Maybe a little bit lighter. Uh, the one thing that I keep seeing is curls. So I don't know if he has curly hair or wavy hair, and that might be when it's grown out. I think he dungated, like his, his face might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a reference to a pointier type nose. He honestly looks a lot like Ted Bundy, but like a jacked up uh, Ted Bundy, okay. like not as handsome. I keep getting like a, like a security guard or a, a badge, getting like a Brian or something like that. It's because they are going to catch him because I keep, I'm seeing him in an orange jumpsuit. He wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Okay. Um, but he's probably going to go to jail for this eventually. I keep getting December. The name Richard again. I also get the name Rick. Damn name Allen is coming in again. I jailed 50-year-old Richard Allen in connection with the double murder. Teen best friends Libby German and Abby Williams went hiking on a trail and never came home. Done on November 20th. 2019 at 7:14 p.m. Quentin or Quentin, but I'm seeing trash and I don't. 9:42 Wednesday morning. Quentin Simon's mom told 911 her little boy was gone. I do keep hearing a trash truck though. Then I keep hearing the trash truck. It's almost that's one thing I can't get rid of is the twisting of the trash bag, and um, so then I'm like, well, is he in the trash? Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I do hear landfill could be the only tonight. A heartbreaking search underway in Georgia for a missing toddler. Police are sifting through trash at a landfill for the remains of 20 month old Quentin Simon. And I felt like he was going to be found that was earlier in the day. Three year old boy found alive and in good health. And I said, like, with three within three miles, but I'm not seeing him being hurt and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. And I said, Were you alone? Yes. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Well, to take cover in that shed. Late into the night to find. I see him running to the woods. Oh, I keep getting a repeated image of him running to the woods. Okay. So maybe he decided he wanted to go play and then he kind of got lost in the woods. Be within two miles. I keep getting that. Getting a reference to the edge of the woods. And so he's still alive because I'm not using him to get this information. Right. Around in the woods, like I can't, I can't find my way out. I like I'm stuck. Like, in a, and I said he's in a bush. Okay. Uh, I went across a, a field um, of grass. I came up on some woods. Sure enough, I went in the woods and about a hundred feet from where I was at, he was. I think he was in some stickers. There's a lot of stickers and all there. Tonight in our missing series, a case that we have heard a lot about from our viewers. She wants, he wants to take me down the road to another, to like a neighbor's house or something, like another farm. I also hear neighbor. He said he knows this guy. He knows him. And he's a neighbor. I don't know what the friends come in. Respect. 58-year-old James Brenner, who also happens to be Dylan's closest neighbor in the remote desert area of Lucen. Plus, uh, she, she asked to go back to her hotel, but I was just trying to get dropped off a little bit uh, further away from her hotel so we could uh, walk back to her hotel and I might still get a chance to, to be with her. Okay. That's so, what I was hoping for. Okay. So what happens? Um, yeah, Deepak drops me off at a, at a place uh, a little right of the, of the Marriott Hotel known as the Fisherman's Huts. Um, this place uh, is not so far from, you know, the next hotel is the Marriott and the next hotel after that is, is another Marriott, uh, which is a timeshare, and then it's the, the Holiday Inn. Um, well, we, we walk along the beach. Uh, right. um, do Deepak and Satish get out, come with you? Uh, what, what, what happens uh, to uh, them? Deepak and Satish leave. Uh, they, uh, they leave... Uh, 
they go back to their home I assume they go back to their home um, they get in their car and they leave uh, I'm actually with uh, I'm actually with uh, with Natalie walking along the beach uh, I find a space uh, before we get to the before we get to the Marriott Hotel where I lay her down we lay down together in the sand and uh, we start kissing each other I start I get her to kiss me again we start kissing each other and uh, I start feeling her up again and she tells me no she tells me she doesn't want me to, to feel her up uh, I insist I keep feeling her up either way um, and uh, she knees me uh, she ends up kneeing me in the crotch uh, when she knees me in the crotch uh, I get up uh, on the beach and I kick her ex extremely hard in, in the face um, yeah she's laying down uh, unconscious possibly even uh, even dead but definitely unconscious and uh, I see uh, right next to her there's a there's a huge uh, cinder block laying on the beach when you say cinder block uh, looking at the walls of this uh, place is it like those the exact same cinder blocks I see a huge cinder block laying on the on the beach uh, I take this and uh, yeah, I, I, I smash her head in with it completely uh, yeah, her face basically, you know, uh, collapses in. Even though it's dark, I can see her face is collapsed in. Um, uh, afterwards, I don't exactly know uh, what, uh, you know, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what to do, uh, and I, um <coughs> I decide to, to take her and. Uh, uh, to put her into the ocean, so I grab her and I I half uh, half pull and half walk with her into the ocean. Um, I uh, I push her off. Uh, I walk up uh, up to about my knees into the ocean and I push her off into into the into the into the sea. Um, and um, yeah, after that I, I get out, I, I walk home. No. Hi guys, um, welcome back. I'm sorry I've been gone, but as you guys know, I'm very busy and I'm going to try to get caught up on my YouTube as much as I can. So I appreciate your patience with me. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and your support. All the ways to support me are down in the description box below. Um, the way to schedule a reading, um, all the old podcasts, the merchandise, the, everything. It's all down below in the description box in the see more section. Um, so, oh, and we're doing another... Um, spirit-led platform event on November 9th. If you guys want in on that, I still have room for that. Um, it went really well last time. People really enjoyed it. Uh, so I, I posted a couple of readings if you want to check those out from that night. It's 25 to join. If you just message me um, and make your payment, I will send you the link. And so if you guys still want in on that, that's still available. All right. Um, so today I'm going to be working on Natalie Holloway. I did put out a poll and this is what you guys wanted me to do. Now I have done kind of some stuff on her before and I really wanted to get and do a reading with her, but I like in the past, but I just, I, something always came up. So everything's always about timing. I do feel the pull to it now. I don't know if she's pulling me in because of what's taking place and and she really wants to get her voice out but regardless of what's going on spirit still deserves their voice and i don't actually don't know too much about this case honestly um like i said i people asked me about her on a live one time and there was certain stuff that i saw and i don't want to really say what i saw because i want to see if i get it tonight which i probably will but um there was there were certain things of places where I saw that she was possibly at. So 
I just feel like the truth isn't really coming out and that Natalie deserves the truth and she wants the truth out, whether that be just for her um, or her family if they see it one day. Or as we know, this this channel is about giving a voice to the voiceless or the a voice to those whose lives were taken who, you know, want out what's what happened to them. And um, so I try to do that. I don't usually like to do things after someone's been arrested or things have come out, but there are exceptions to the rule. If I feel a pull to it, if I feel like spirits pulling me in, then that's what I do. So everything has a timing and I don't know. I just, I feel like she's been kind of pulling at me a little bit for this. So that's, that's why I've decided to do it. Um, like I said, I don't know much about this case. I never really looked into it. I've tried to stay away from it because of the fact that I was going to work it at some point. As you guys know, I try not to know anything before I work on cases because I feel like it taints the reading. So if I do know too much about a case, I usually don't work it. Um, so keep in mind that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for entertainment purposes only. This is in no way fact. This is only spiritual information or my perception of the information that I'm getting from spirit. So, as you guys know, and those of you that don't know, information that comes in can be past, present, or future. It can be symbolic or have multiple meanings. And that includes, uh, so sometimes when things are symbolic, they're not always literal. Um, so, if I see things a certain way, it might not be literal. It's, it's kind of how we perceive it. Uh, multiple meanings, month, you know, months and, and numbers, they can have multiple meanings. But spirit will often use my references, experiences, how I relate to things to try to explain what they are wanting to say. This is, is a telepathic communication. I will just tell you what I see and try not to guess what it means. But sometimes I do fall off the wagon and, and try to interpret it. My interpretation may be right. It may be wrong. But um, I'm just going to give you what I'm seeing. And sometimes I do give you know, like, well, it could mean this or it could mean that. But um, usually I just am working on just trying to explain what I see. So um, as I get information, Lizzie, who's going to be on here, is going to validate what she knows and what she doesn't know. She's just going to say yes. So I don't expect her to know everything. Please don't expect her to know everything. We don't know everything. Um, not everything is out there. She hasn't had a lot of time to research. I just need her to be the energy to bounce back and forth with, uh, to have somebody there just to kind of run the energy off of. That's basically all that it is. So be nice in the comments and be nice in everyday life and let's not give me or her a hard time. Um, we are just here to do the best that we can and give you what spirit's giving and, and that's all that I can do. And she is there taking the time out of her life to help do that. Um, so I think I mentioned everything. I don't know. Hopefully I did. <laughs> Hopefully I'm so tired all of a sudden, so I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and, and bring her on and there she is. Good morning, everybody. She's bright eyed and bushy dill, and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> that time difference. Uh, I've had a very long day, but I'm trying to get caught up on my life. <laughs> You'll get there. So um let's just respect what what spirit has to say. Um so this is their voice and I and I just ask that people respect it. Don't question it. Let's just respect it. Um, all right. I don't know why she's making me draw an eight. Kind of weird. Um, it's like a figure eight, but... Was this like was this like a school trip or something like that? I can't remember. Uh yes. It was okay. an unofficial uh graduation trip. Okay. Do you know if she had like 
um, a couple girlfriends that she was kind of really close with that she was going on this this with. I just the reason why I'm asking is I keep seeing her laughing and giggling, and she's with a couple other girls. And there's a reference to like a bus, so I don't know if at some point they took a bus um, to get to like you know sometimes you take a bus from the hotel or whatever it may be. It's kind of like that, or maybe a bus to the airport. I don't know. Um, it can be a different point in their lives because I always I forgot to say that I can get things at any point in their life um but i keep getting that kind of reference about her having a good time with a couple girlfriends and there's a reference to a bus ride um there were there were other girls and chaperones on the trip I'm just want yeah, but I'm wondering if she had like a couple of really good friends because there's reference to two other girls that I feel like were maybe really good friends of hers. I just see her laughing with them, but um, it seems like there were two girls that were mentioned that were friends of hers, or like you know they they hung up hung out during the trip. But there's there is two that were specifically okay. mentioned. Because I get that sense of, like, um, you know how, like, when you're a teenager and you're starting to get going in life and you're, like, super excited. And and I don't know if she had plans to go to a university after this, but there's a mention of college or, like, you know, just that feeling of, yes, we're graduated, we're going to go have a good time. And then there's plans for the future that she keeps talking about. So I don't know if she had plans to like go to university or college after this. Um, and this was like, I don't know. This is just like, I kind of keep getting a reference to um, the movie taken um, with Liam Neeson, you know, how, how the daughter was going on that trip like, yeah. that's kind of the feeling that I get, and I'm getting a reference to that movie. So I think she's kind of referencing, like, you know, that kind of feeling with it. Okay. Um, and she was she was going to go to um, the University of Alabama. Okay. Because I feel like she had all these plans. Like, it wasn't just, yes, she, yes, she was going to party, because that's obviously what you do. Um on these kind of trips and stuff like that. But um, it's at the same time, she had a good head on her shoulder. She had plans. She knows what she wanted to do in her life. And she was looking forward to college. Um, so that's the way that it, it comes across. And she shows me, like, when they get to the hotel, like, you know how when you go into a room and you just kind of flop on the bed? <laughs> I don't know why she's showing me that. It's almost okay. like, you know, I'm flopping back on the bed and it's comfortable. And I think she's just trying to get into, like, what she was feeling, what the trip was like. Even if we can't validate it, it's just how she was feeling about the whole thing. Um but it was like she flops on the bed. And I don't know if she was staying in the room with a couple other girls. But there's just excitement and planning that's going on at this time. Okay. Um, And she keeps referencing, like, um, a swimming pool, or I don't know if there was plans to go to, like, the pool. Because um, I don't I don't really know what day, like, this all happened, like, how many days they were there or whatever. But um, she keeps showing me a pool. Okay. I don't know if they have plans to go there or not. But, or what that's about. Um, I also get three. So I don't know how long they were going to stay there, but the number three comes in it was a it was for a, a five-day trip but 
you might be getting three. Um, I don't know if I should. I'll, I'll hold on to that to the end. But there um, was it like the third night or something like that. Like that's. Well, there was there were um, three three people that she was seen with the night that she oh, disappeared. Okay. So maybe okay. that's why. Yeah, possible. I was also I was kind of trying to see what night it happened. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the, you can come in at any point for anything. Okay. Wait, multiple let me, me see. It might be multiple they got months. there on the 26th and she was last seen around one thirty on, on the 30th. So that's like four days, but it's like three into the four. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the third into the fourth. So. I mean, that basically tracks because they went out before midnight. So that would be the third day. I mean, close enough to me. In my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like... So they could have gone to the pool at some point or something um, on one of those days, I guess. But I feel like there was, you know, they kind of went out every night, but it's almost like they went to different places. They didn't go to the same, the same place I get because I hear bar hopping, but I, I feel like they went to different, you know, different locations every night. But they had like, I hear itinerary, so I don't know if one of them had an itinerary of things that they wanted to do. And I feel like they went sightseeing during the day because she, she's referencing that. Um, excuse you, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Off the camera or off the computer. Do we know how many people are? I keep getting this number eight, and I don't know how it fits, but she keeps making me draw it. Mm. I don't know if that's for August or if there was eight people all together or if there's a reference. I don't know. It seems important. Let's see. Well, there were seven chaperones. I don't know exactly how many uh, I don't know it could be I don't know I just keep getting eight anyways we'll hang on to it. oh 124 fellow graduates but I wonder if like it could be their group like there was eight like in their in group, their group or or um it could be for August or I, I don't I don't really know Okay. Um, it just seems like important for some reason because she keeps making me draw it. Ugh, my neck hurts for some reason. It better not be from you. Um, I hope not. It's on the left side. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. I'm just trying to like get kind of the feel of how things were and what was going on and all that so that I can kind of get some validation or a storyline. Okay. Um, I don't usually like to just jump in like to what happened. I I, I kind of like to yeah. go along with the and get as much as I can. Um Um, okay, so I keep hearing 20 years. Do you know what that's a reference to? Okay, so the guy who um, confessed was already um, doing jail time for like, I don't know, 20, 20 something years for um, something else. And then he brought drugs into the jail and um, he got like another 18 years. Okay, but, but in reference to her, 
Like oh, how sure. long is this, how long has this been? Oh, uh, let's see. So 2005. So 18 years because my son's 18 and he was born in 2005. So, all right. I don't know where the reference to 20 years is unless that was his age at the time or I don't really know. Um, all right. No, he was 17 at the time. I don't know then. Unless something's going to happen in a couple of years. I don't know. Okay. I just heard 20 years, so I don't, I don't know what it's in regards to. Um, I feel like this isn't going well. <laughs> So she she comes across as like um I hear the word quirky, bubbly. Um I feel like she was outgoing. Um and I feel like she seemed to grab a lot of attention. It, it might be wanted attention and unwanted attention, but there's a reference to like Excuse you. She grabs a lot of attention. Okay. She like she has that charisma that people are drawn to her. Plus, you know her looks. But she just a small. She seems like a I hear small town girl. So she puts off that. I don't know if she's actually from a small town, but or a smaller town. But um, it's that vibe of like the small town girl, the girl next door, like that kind of. But also, I feel like she was really outgoing and and usually she was straight and narrow but this she was like i'm here to let loose and have fun kind of thing okay um because i feel she she she's saying like she was normally a good girl like you know she normally she has a good head on her shoulders and i don't know if she got really good grades but she's showing me a's on paper so i feel like she did really well in school um she did. She had a full. She and I was going to say scholarship. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> but she I did very well in school. I was going to say she's got a. Yeah, she's getting a scholarship. She, she's talking about getting a scholarship and possibly graduating with honors. Um, <laughs> it was coming in right before you said it. I was like, don't say it. <laughs> And she says, life cut short. Like, she had so many plans. And I feel like it really put her mom's life on a standstill or stop for a certain point of time where this is all she focused on. Um, all right. She graduated with honors in 2005. Okay. I can't believe it's been that long. It's crazy. I didn't realize it was the same year. Um, I was graduating nursing school. I was having my kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> she just said the word sleazeball. Oh, we know who she's talking about there. Um, all right. So, do we know if she if she walked with her friends to this bar club? I want to call it more of a club than a bar because I hear like booming music. Like in in my mind, I can hear like boom, 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 boom. Um, I do not know if they walk to. Um the place or not. It's almost like at some point they were walking. I don't know if it's walking I don't know. I don't know if it's walking from the car, from a car they took to the place or they walked for a little bit. I'm not really sure. I get her and her friends walking down the sidewalk at some point all dressed up. Um, 
And was this was this place also near the water? Because it's like a, I can sense the water close by or I can smell the beach. I want to say yes. But it feels like it's like a, a string of, you know, things that are like this hotels and clubs and things. Um, but I keep getting a reference to like, like. neon lights or um you know how like the drinks glow <laughs> I, I don't know why she's so she's showing me that but you know like the the drinks and like martini glasses and i don't know if she's just saying they had this here or I, i'm not really sure why she's showing it but it's kind of like i get like that it's that kind of club um maybe more upscale um i heard upscale so Okay, well, the the place that she was at before disappearing, um, it's kind of like similar to like Senor Frogs, and that's that that's a place like I've been to one of them. It's like a place, and I've been to one in the Bahamas, but it is kind of like party atmosphere, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how this place is, but I do know like. Senor Frogs, they'll get like uh, the shot Congo line going. Like it, it's usually attracts like the younger crowd. Mm -hmm. You're there for like the experience of it, you know, type deal thing. Yeah. I don't know. I just keep hearing this pounding music. Boom, boom, boom. That makes sense because it, it's like a, it's a nightmare. But then I also get like the drinks glowing. <laughs> and well, like, it, it, if it is like Senor Frogs, they do have like black lights in there and yeah. okay. they have um, like different, different drinks. Like they put them in like, you, you know, like the reactive cups that go with the black yeah. lights, you know, like. like I something guess, like, like that. Neon. She just keeps showing me that. I don't, I don't know what she means. So if it. they're comparing it to Senor Frogs, I would say it probably does have that. You know, it's like loud music, nightclub atmosphere. Um, she keeps showing me a vision over and over and over and I think that I'm just going to say it I don't think it's like I'm not getting the timing of it obviously I feel like it happened later into the night when they were there but she keeps showing me a pill being dropped into the water and or in, into a drink and it fizzing okay so um, I don't know if she's trying to say that that was happening there and also happened to her but it it's she keeps skipping forward to that and I'm trying to rewind her back like okay just just hang on a second I want to see more of like how this all transpired you know okay um because it's almost like I see her and the girls dancing and then they get approached by there's a reference to three guys so three guys and three girls um but the three guys I think there's a, I hear a fourth. So I don't know if there was also a fourth around there somewhere, but I keep getting like th these three guys walk up to them, you know, but they, she keeps showing me like on the dance floor kind of thing. Okay. Um, well, your three's coming up a lot because um, when I was reading about this restaurant or establishment, she was at three years after her disappearance, they closed it. And a nearby location was opened under their sister brand, Senor Frogs. Oh, is that why you're referencing that? Or did well, you not know that till right now? <laughs> no, I didn't know that till I, I knew that they, they said the place was like a Senor, you know what I mean? Uh, on yeah. the order of Senor Frogs. And it seems like it's, you know, the atmosphere is related. I don't know if it's like the same chain, but I did just read that they closed the place three years because you kept, well, kept saying three and I'm like, wow, this three keeps coming up. Yeah. Well, but I think it's, there's multiple meanings because I think it has to do with the girl she was with. Like there's three of them all mm -hmm. together. And then I think there was three guys, but then she's talking about a fourth. So I don't know if there's one that we don't know about that was with them that maybe like went a separate way, but she's talking about three guys and then a fourth at some point. 
Okay. Like they were a group, like a group, you know, like a group of guys. Um, but she's talking about like like things going on there that were like shady. I don't, and that might be why she's bringing in the drink, the drink thing. Um, okay. And she says a bad rap, so I don't know if they got a bad rap from this, but um, okay, so. Wait, what did you wait? Who who got a bad rap? The guys or the the establishment? Oh, okay. Like from everything going on, I think I don't know, or that it related to this, but um, she keeps calling him a sleaze ball, <laughs> but I feel like. It, it comes across like they bought the girls drinks and she keeps taking me back to like her drink being spiked or the drinks being spiked. But I feel like he was watching her like, um, he comes across as like, uh, I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube. Um, a rapist like that's how he comes across like his okay. energy and the way that he's looking at her and stuff like that like it's very creepy and sleazeball-y is what she's saying but at the time I I don't know if she was she was drinking and whatnot at the time and I don't think she recognized it like she recognizes it now but at the time it was like okay we're just all gonna have kind of fun together you know mm -hmm. um and I could be seeing other people that she was having fun with, but there's just a reference to like him watching her. And I feel like, I feel like he, I feel like someone dropped something in her drink. Like okay. roof eater. Cause she keeps showing me that like over and over and over again. We know how when things repeat, it's important, but I just think it was hap maybe happening a lot at that establishment, but there's a reference to, I don't know if that he brought her a drink and, it was roofied or, or what. Um, but it's like a glowing drink and it keeps, it's fizzing like something's been dropped in it. That's what she keeps showing me. Hmm. I don't know. So I hear like after party. Were they trying to get her to go to an after party at some point? Do we know? Mm, not that I heard of. Okay. I don't know if it was just brought up or there's a reference to that. Um, Sorry, I'm seeing visions in my head and I'm trying to um make yeah, sense of make sense okay. of it. Um because what I keep seeing is a reference to like them saying that it's like him and like two other guys, I think. It's him and his friends. I'm pretty sure it's three guys. Um that they'll make sure she gets home or something like that. And She's talking about like she didn't recognize she was she was not in her right state of mind. She just was not. She shows me her being like very like like how I kind of felt this whole reading like hi like um I don't know if she talked her friends cuz it's almost like her friends wanted to go with her. But she like talked him out of going or something or I don't know. I don't understand what she's I don't understand what she's saying because it's almost like there's a conversation that takes place. And she this um, Natalie's being put into this car or getting into this car with the guys. But the girls are like going their separate ways for some reason. It's almost like they try to talk her into not going but. Okay. It was like I'll be all right, or she didn't really know. I I keeps coming across like she wasn't in her right state of mind. It's really foggy for some reason.
I just know that she ended up in a car with these other guys. With the suspect being one of them. And um, I don't see where the girls are. But it's almost like I, I don't understand this vision. It's almost like I see the girls outside of the car, like trying to get her to come or something like, like come with them or something like that. Or there was a reference to her, them trying to get her to go with them. And she ended up going with the guys in the car. That's how it comes across. Okay. Now, what if it was, I don't feel like it was a, like a sober decision. And I, I feel more than she's just had too much to drink it. It comes across, like, I feel, and that might be why it's so fuzzy. Okay. Because it is, fu it's it's very fuzzy. This whole thing is very fuzzy. I don't know. Does any of that make sense? I don't know the story at all. From what I had read was, is um, she did leave with suspect two other people. In a car who was uh, not the guy who admitted wrongdoings, one of his friends that was his car. Apparently, she wanted to go see sharks or something. Yeah, because I, that's why I see like her getting in the car, but it's. I'm not of sound mind. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking straight. Like, I don't see any danger in it. Well, that makes sense because there was excessive drinking but I still feel like she was roofied at some point like that's not going away it was either happening at that club or it was her specifically but she's which that very well I mean you know if that's what she's showing you you know it's probably but just I'm trying not to see where the two girls stated. are it's almost like I see the two girls out the one she went with like outside outside the car like trying to talk her out of it or something like there's that reference Okay. Like at some point they tried to talk her out of going. Like they didn't want her to go with the guys. And they okay. didn't want to go with the guys because they felt they were creepy. Okay. And so now Ellie's saying, you know, it's not one of my best moments, not one of my best decisions. Like she looks at it now and she sees, but she's like, you know, young and naive kind of thing. Yeah. She didn't see the stranger. She didn't see the danger of it at that point. Mm hmm. Um, like a lot of us don't at that age. I mean, yeah. I look back on my life now. I'm like, shoot, how am I still alive? Like, yeah, you know, yep. we all make Anyhow. those. That's part of learning. So she's just talking about how she made a, a bad decision. And at the time, like, she's talking about how she had beer goggles on because he's not very cute. Like, now she's talking about, like, he's not. When she looks at him now, she's like, eh. Like what was it I think? Yeah, it was you, we've all had those times too. Um Okay. And I feel she liked the beach in general though. Um Okay. I don't know why, but I, I don't know if she they spent a lot of time at the beach when they were there, but there's a reference to like her definitely liking the beach and she did want to go there, but I still keep getting like this. I'm not of sound mind kind of feeling. Um, and he could have, she could have been roofied at any point, but it's just that keeps coming in as even a symbolism. Um, okay. So, did they ever find her purse? What's up with her purse? Why is she showing me her purse? Do we know anything about that? Um, She's about her, her purse and her shoes. That I don't know. I know they found her passport in her hotel. I didn't see anything about a purse or shoes. Okay. So, maybe I just missed it or, and it, you know. That's okay. I feel like she had it with her. Oh, there's a reference to that, but um, I 
Mm. I'm trying to understand this now. Okay. Uh, she's, uh, she's so confusing at like explaining this to me. And it might be because I'm not of sound mind. <laughs> I feel like I've had something or something. Um, Okay, um, so there's a there's a reference to, and like them like those two being dropped off, but it's like the guys kind of knew what was gonna happen. Um, not not that she was gonna anything was gonna happen to her like that happened to her, but you know what I mean, like what the suspect had in mind like they kind of knew what the suspect had in mind as far as them going on the beach because i was what i was trying to see is because i felt all three together and i was trying to make sure they didn't all go okay like they didn't all get out of the car that's what i was trying to see because i keep getting around like i hear i hear all these guys talking and I'm, i was trying to make sure that they weren't all present when this took place but i think there might be an alibi or something for the other two. Um, okay. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but as to why they weren't suspected. um, Because what she shows me, too, is like she is walking along the beach with Celie's Ball's arm around her and she's holding her shoes and um, she, she you know how, like, when you're walking on the beach and you're, you've are you got somebody's arm around you, but you're not, um, like, you're not sober and you're kind of, like, stumbling, like, with your feet, like, like that. I keep seeing that. Okay. Um, what I've kind of been seeing all day and now, I don't even know if this exists. Is there a reference? Is there, like, a pier or something like that in that area? Do, do we know? Because that's one thing I keep getting is, and I don't know if it would be symbolic or not or if it's just something that's small not like a big one but um i keep mm. getting i've been getting that all day and i like you know how like there's the, the round wooden things um that go up yeah like the pillars the, yeah like the pillars like i keep getting that but when you were showing me the pictures i didn't see that so i don't know if there's one at all on that beach Mm. Let me... and it's like in the distance I can see um, like lights and stuff from like different hotels and all that um, Not seeing. Unless it's a different part of the beach that we don't know about that I don't know because that's something I keep seeing all day is like the pillars. There's like it almost looks like a strip that you go out on, but I don't know if that it almost looks like it's made with rocks like you know how they have the rocks built up but it mm -hmm. i don't know maybe that's why you're getting it because you know like how like the piers go out that's how like these rocks go out like you could actually walk on them it's not just because they're out there because of like low tide if that makes sense what i'm saying yeah and i know what you're talking about it might just be how i reference it but i don't know i just keep getting the pillars to the pier there may be pillars there in the picture i'm looking at is just not or if it or is it different i don't know i don't know i don't know why i keep getting that because it's like um
I feel like she starts stumbling at some point. I don't know. And he like catches her a few times. Um, and then I hear, I hear, I don't feel so good. Like, that's what she says. Like, I don't feel so good. Okay. And she wanted to, like, um, the sand feels soft. Like, she wanted to, like, lay down or sit down on the sand because she wasn't feeling good. Like, she felt nauseous or something. But I hear her say that, like, say that to him. Like, I don't feel so, I don't feel so good. Um... And older cases are sometimes harder to get information on, so. But I feel like. It's like after she sits down, it's almost like. She ends up laying down almost. Like an in-between feeling, like I'm not passed out, but I'm not fully coherent kind of. Feeling. Um, okay. Okay. And I do feel like he did try to force himself on her. And he might have even. Well, hold on a second. See, I. Okay. Um, from what she's showing me is. He did try to. She fought back. There's a reference to hand around my throat. And also being. Punched or beat. But hands around my throat. Um, because of her fighting back. I okay. don't. I don't see a weapon being used. Like I don't. I think his story's crap. Okay. When it comes to just he just kicked her once and then and then got a rock. I that I that's not what I'm seeing. This is all with his hands. She's not showing me any of that. Okay. Um, and like my the front of my the front of my throat hurts right here. Okay. Um. What I can't make out is if he essayed her before or after. Okay. And that's, I can't, it feels like that happened. And of okay. course, we'll never know. <sighs> Ezekiel. But, um, he got so angry. That's why I'm like, unless he started and then finish after um because it's like he got so angry he wasn't getting what he wanted he's a narcissistic socio sociopath and he wasn't getting what he wanted and i think that he has a history of doing this that we don't know about um him roofing girls and doing this and there might even be more victims than we're aware of okay at least for that but maybe even more than just her and the other girl because I do know that he was doing time for another girl that he beat in a hotel room what does that tell you mm -hmm. you know I think it's similar to what he did to her but specifically you know I'm getting the throat area um like I feel like I can't breathe I don't, I don't, I don't think he put her in the water, though. It's like I get on the phone and I'm panicking. I, I, he's standing up, standing over here, standing over her and he's panicking. These either, it's these two guys that left him there or somebody else came back and helped him because he's on the phone talking to somebody talking about how he did this and he needs to do something about it. Okay. And I feel like in disposing of her that he 
had help. I don't think he just walked her out with up to the knees and just let her go in the water. Because the odds of her being found when they're coming back there to look for her. I don't know. It just, it's not coming. Across. She's not showing me that that's what happens. It's like I'm standing up, standing over her. I'm on the phone and I'm freaking out to somebody. And there's a male on the other end of the phone. Okay. So I think someone came because, because when I, because that's what I got before in the, on the live was a construction site. We weren't, I wasn't aware at the time that there actually was a hotel being built, but, um, I, today when I was thinking about it, I was like, well, how, how did he get her there? Because he didn't have a car. He didn't carry her all the way to the construction site. I mean, obviously the water makes more sense if he was just by himself, but I think someone came and help came and help him. And that's why he's lying. I feel okay. like he's trying to cover for somebody that helped him out. I hear connections, so I don't know where his connections are, but he's got connections or someone's got connections. Okay. And she, and she, instead of showing me that he put her in the water, it's like they came and helped, help, help him and put her like in the trunk of a car, in the back of a car. The car's dark. It's like a dark sedan looking thing. Um, so I don't know. I don't want to say who I think it is and, and get sued. Um, okay. <laughs> but I tell me later. I hear connections with it. And then um, I keep seeing the like tractors and stuff. So that puts me back at the construction site. Okay. I, I, he, she just said he's a liar. She said, I don't know why anybody would believe something that he has to say. She said, look how many times he's lied this entire time. How many times has he changed the story? How many times has he lied about stuff? And now he's telling the truth? That's what she's saying. Yeah. I mean, he's changed his story like a million times. And even, isn't that how he got the money out, away for, out of the mom? Was he lied and and all of that until she sent him the money and that's why he's in that's why he's in jail for or getting charged with that? Yeah, I mean he's never told the truth in his life. He's a pathological liar. How can yep. anybody believe this? And pathological yep. liars, it's easy for them to pass lie detector tests. That's true. But, but I hear connections, and I I keep going back to um. Was there a Hilton around there? Do you know? I don't know what the new one was, but you, but, but we figured out after I got this in the live before that, um, there was a hotel being built. I really think because I keep hearing tractors and seeing them and you know how, like when they're building a building and I don't, She's showing me this. You know how, like, when they're building a building and they have, um, like, the dirt here and they, they have, like, the wood sticking up for, like, the floor. Like, they'll put, like, the they'll pour the concrete. Like the, for the footers, yeah. For the floor, that's what she's showing me. Okay. I mean, I don't know how they would have done it. You would think there were, well, I don't know. This is 18 years ago. Maybe there wasn't that many cameras. But it's like she, he put me where I'll never be found. I, it, the water just doesn't. It's not. It's it's not tracking. It's not feeling right. That's not what she's showing me. Because literally, she's showing me the details of the pieces of wood sticking up and like, you know, a square piece. Okay. But then my logical mind is like, how is that even possible? You know. But if you had help. But if you had help. Yeah. And if it's who I think helped him. But I keep get I keep hearing like men like arguing in my head, like, um, and kind of freaking out about what to do. 
you know? Okay. So that's why I, I feel like someone came back and helped him or he called for somebody's help. Okay. I don't want to say. I don't mm-hmm. want to get sued because of the connections here. Um, but she she just said said I think who he was to him. But um it's someone that seems to always save his butt for a while. But she just I keep hearing like these the men arguing about what they were gonna do and how he really screwed up this time and um like that's all that's coming in. Okay. Um, And she's showing me a cement mixer. So at some point, I mean, that's too detailed for me to make it up the way that she's showing it to me. Because I was wanting her to show me different things. And she showed me when I did that live and I just got random stuff. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't shown like that sandy area with the wood sticking out or the cement mixer before. But I'm not saying that he did that that night. But eventually, it's almost like the next day or something there. It was poured. And no one checked. Yeah. And, you know. I mean, I don't know how it's possible, but I, I mean, I guess anything's really possible. Um, as far as taking her out into the water and just letting her go. I don't think so. It doesn't come across that way. Well, it seems that he was known because a security guard identified him off video within i think it was the casino or maybe the hotel like in the hotel or something because he actually spoke to her like for like a few minutes one of the girls said at the casino and asked like where they were going and the next thing you knew he was at the same stat like that night he was at that establishment yeah because yeah. he's like following her or something did you hear that? Hmm. That wasn't an echo either. Um, that's what I'm saying. It was almost like he picked her and like planned all this. Like, that's how it comes across. And I think that's what he does or what he did. Okay. With women. Like he's a. He's not a good guy. Like who knows how many women are really in the in his past that we don't really know about um i mean and it seems like he traveled look he left this one area and then traveled to another area and then did the same thing so we don't really know um she said there's more but that could be just sa um because i do think he it, it comes across as like that's what he did was like roofy girls or i don't know when he didn't, when he he's a little baby. When he doesn't get his way, he throws a fit, and that's what happened. He th- he he lets his anger get a hold of him, and that's what happened to Natalie, and that's what happened to the other girl in the hotel room. Okay. Oh, you know why you got twenty years too? Mm-hmm. He was sentenced to twenty years for extortion on the oh. wire fraud charges, but he was already doing twenty eight years for the death of the other girl and i'd be curious really like what her cod was but um i get it's very similar to what he did to natalie okay i don't think he just kicked her and then used a rock like it doesn't come across that way i see him like losing it on her and like choke choking the life out of her because that's he was mad he was mad he wasn't getting his way he was throwing he threw a fit he strangled and beat the other girl that he's in jail for well that's as bad basically what i got for nally i think he did the same thing it's his mo yeah she just keeps saying how he's a liar i really really truly think that she's and we'll never know. It's not like they're going to dig up the hotel. 
They're never yeah. going to find her in the ocean. I mean, she's okay, even though her body hasn't been found, obviously. You know, she's okay on the other side. She's not... People don't get stuck just because of that. But um, I think she's got to be under that hotel because it's more detailed than what I was getting before. and I didn't know about a new hotel being built until people on the live were telling me that. Because I kept getting a construction site and I had everybody look it up to see if there was one around there. I really think that that, that she's got that's where she's got to be at because that's what she's showing me. Unless it's somebody else that he's responsible for. But I really think it's her because she's not showing me that he just took her out. It's like he called someone and had help. And there's okay. an arguing, arguing with the guys because of what he's done. And now he's got to clean up his mess. Okay. Or now they have to help with this mess or whatever. But if he just took her out into the water, I wouldn't hear arguing between guys. And I wouldn't be getting, like, all these details about. I just wonder how much it was built up at that time. If it's that construction site. So, I mean, it might be one that they, they know about that we don't know about either. You know? Yeah. That's true, too. But, I mean, it doesn't seem too far from where she was. But uh, I just... I don't know. I keep getting a construction site. And every time I've thought about her in the past, I always get a construction site. But I was waiting to see if I got more details to validate it. So I know it just wasn't what I was getting before. You know? Um, okay. So here, it, it says here about the construction site. Um, there was a gentleman, I guess, who um, was afraid to come forward because that it was uh, the Marriott Hotel construction site. He visited regularly for il uh, illegal activity, like drug-related purposes, which is why he wouldn't come forward right away. But it's near the Holiday Inn where she was staying and went missing from. So it's got to be close to the beach, the hotel. Well, what was he oh, not yeah. wanting to come forward about? Mm. Why am I getting the Hilton? There was something about the a Hilton 2-8. Hold on. I remember reading, seeing something. He kills on his castle, on his throne. <clears throat> I mean, there was stuff to her head done because I I felt that before we ever got on here, but like the back of my head's hurting. Like it's been smashed against the freaking sand or something. Or the ground. But I think I think the way what he did to the girls is the same thing he did to Natalie. And he's just not telling the whole story. He's lying. He's lying. He's never told the truth. She says he's never told the truth not once in his life. Why would he tell the truth now? Oh, he was a, a witness. Like a self-proclaimed witness, they're saying. That on the night of the 30th, he heard, I guess he was in that area maybe for illegal activity. And uh, he's saying that he recognized the two as... Vandersloot um, and Natalie Holloway. On the beach or by that hotel? The con by the construction site. I mean... Somehow she ended up at the construction site. From what he's saying is that, uh, let's see, 
that he saw that Van Sloot with Natalie in his arms. He didn't know what happened. Um, he said he lays, lays her down uh, and pulls her up on his shoulders. Then he throws her body on the ground. He, uh, This gentleman saw that Van Sloot hiding the body under the building. I really think he did. And I could be getting it mixed up as far as when he called whoever he called and told him what he did. There's an argument about something, you know? Yeah. The guys arguing. The guys are arguing about something, but um and that's that's across from the beach though, right? Because there's still a reference to walking on the beach, but yeah, it's like it almost seems like it's like one of those like it, from like this article, like it almost sounds like it's like one of those resorts, like you know, you have a re like a hotel or a resort here, you have one here, yeah. there's all beach here, you know, like how sometimes like if you get like a resort package, you could go to other hotels and their restaurants, mm -hmm. like stuff like that. It almost seems like there's, you know, more well, than one hotel in that area. See, I didn't even know about that, but I feel like, like, I'm not going to get every single thing and I don't always get it. It kind of skips around a little bit, but they were walking on the beach at some point, but then I, I don't really know where where he did it at. But it was Sandy, wherever it was. Yeah, I mean, and if it's that close, that construction site is that close. Yeah. I mean, who's just like say that he didn't carry her he did from call, the beach? I feel like he. I feel like he did call someone at some point for some kind of help because I I hear the arguing. Okay. So I don't know if I don't know what the reasoning was, you know, if they came to help him for some point or pick him up or whatever it was. But there is some sort of argument with another male um, about, you know, him calling him about what he had done or whatever. So, um, all right. I mean, I'm just going to leave it at that because I think that. That's got to be it. That's got to be right. I don't think he put her in the water. I don't think he put her in the water. I'm getting too many, too, I'm seeing too many details about the construction site. I just, and the fact that I got that in that live years ago without trying to get anything, usually that's when I get the most accurate stuff because I'm not, it just comes in. You know? Yeah. I'm just seeing it. So I'm just going to stick, I'm sticking with that. I don't think she was ever put in the water. I got chills with that. Just chills just ran down my legs. So, um, do you know she has a brother? She was one of two children, and I want to say the other is she does have a brother. But let me just um, double check because I know it did, it did say she had. Um, I want to make sure it was a brother. I feel like this reading's all over the place. Yes, she has a brother. Because okay. I just heard a brother. Like, um, I don't know if something's just happened with her brother or what, but she was mentioning her brother because I was trying to go into like her family. And I feel like he was really young. Was he really young when this or younger? Is he younger or older? He feels He's younger. younger. He's a okay. younger brother. Yeah, because he feels younger. But it's almost like she's talking about the things that he's gone through in his life since then. Okay. And what's like what's going on now. But she's just talking about her brother. Um, and how, I don't know if like they were close too. Because I feel like he looked up to her and it was really tough on him for a while. Um, but he just wants, she just wants to talk about him. And... She also knows how much her mom has fought for her. And she talks about how, like, her life went on hold. I don't know if she, did she move out there or something? Because there's a reference to, I'm going to stay out there or move out there and find out what happened to my daughter. That's the way it comes across. I um, remember her mom being there a lot. Like, 
and she was there for a while. Like she didn't want to leave until she found out what happened to her daughter. Yeah. That so I like do she remember. Put her life, like she went out there and put her life on hold. Like she almost basically moved out there. Like that's what she's talking about. She knows, she knows how hard she's fought for her daughter. She knows everything. Um, and okay. she's sorry that she's been lied to and um, played games with by this person. I don't even want to call him that. Sociopath. He's so he's sad. I couldn't help. imagine. You know, yeah. going so through she, that. She, she, you know, so she she's talking about knowing about that and how it like the guy put her through the ringer and she's sorry. And she's also saying like she's sorry she put herself in that situation as well. Because okay. she says that she knows she was taught better. And like her mom always taught her about that kind of stuff, but that's what that's what she's saying. She was always taught better, but I guess she just didn't make good decisions that night. That's what she's talking about. Like she didn't make good decisions, and um, so she's saying she's sorry for that. Like I'm, I hear I'm sorry I didn't come home. And I just heard I love you, mom. Um, and she's talking about. I don't know if there's a birthday coming up or just past, but there's talk about a birthday. Um, I wonder if her brother's in college. She's talking about, like, stuff going on in brother's life. Um... Which was mention of school, but then it's almost like her brother it's like her brother struggled with it, but then almost like did stuff to make his sister proud. That's how it comes in. And I keep getting kids at some point. I don't know how old he is now, but if it's not happened, it's a future thing. Like the reference like two kids. Her birthday point. is tomorrow. Oh wow. No wonder, she was, first. no wonder she was pushing me. That's good validation for me because I didn't know that. <laughs> you mean today? The 21st. What is, is today? today the oh, today is the 20th. Yeah, you're right. 21st. Okay. Well, I don't know because we're after midnight. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually Friday. So her birthday is Saturday. Wow. No wonder she's talking about her birthday. Okay, that's good validation for me because I didn't know that. No wonder she was pushing at me today and we did this today. There you go. Yeah. I was thinking about her all day while I was outside messing with the goat stuff. I don't usually do that. And I feel this reading is like all over the place and kind of hazy, but she her basic message is that the dude's lying and that's not what happened. And that's not where she that's not where she ended up. Okay. And I, I really feel strongly about the construction site. I don't think the witness is lying. I mean, where the help came from, I don't know if they came after the fact or what. I just know that he called somebody at some point and there was, you know, the arguing with the men back and forth. So that could have been help after the fact, like they came and picked him up or something too. Okay. But, um... What well, my logical mind was like, how did he get her there? But maybe he was closer to that site than we know. Like at the beach across the street or something. I don't yeah. know. I definitely know like it was Sandy. Like it was Sandy where it happened, but I feel like I'm higher up on the beach, like not really close to the water. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'd like to know where those pillars come in, though. Like, I keep seeing the pillars for the pier. I don't know why that's I don't understand that at all. Um. But her biggest thing was that she didn't want his words to be the last words of what happened to her. That's why she was bugging me today. That's what she's telling me right now. Is she didn't want him to get the last words because he doesn't deserve it. She deserves the last words. 
and she deserves for her her story to be told and it. she's like at least if you're going to confess tell the truth but this guy's incapable of the truth he's a he's a pathological liar liar but if he did pass a, a um lie detector test and that's why because pathological liar sociopaths they can pass that stuff i don't believe a word that comes out of his mouth i just don't I think it's nonsense yeah. And I don't know why he would lie about it because I think it was far more brutal than what he's saying. And he wants people to think she's in the water because I don't know. You know. I don't know. I just. I don't know why she's showing me cop lights because we already know he was arrested. She said it's just it's did the other do we know if the other girl um had brown hair because there's a one there's a girl standing with her with brown hair. Mm, let me see. yeah she has brown hair okay um because she's showing me her standing there like holding the girl's hand with brown hair the, his other victim um but she says that they have a karmic thing that the the whole reason that this happened with the other girl was so that he could be caught it's almost like a karmic a, okay a karmic thing like if that wouldn't have happened with his other victim, then in a way there wouldn't have been justice for Natalie. So in other words, um, Natalie and her have justice kind of together because um, Natalie wasn't going to be found. Okay. You know what I mean? So he got caught for that for a reason. Like, and that's almost like um, the sacri the karmic sacrifice of the other victim. Like there's, okay. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, yeah, it makes sense. has kind of a soul contract, but if he wouldn't have been caught for that, he wouldn't have been really caught for anything. So it's almost like that was almost a soul level sacrifice kind of thing okay. for both of them. But they're standing there together. Like they're, they're both okay. And they're together. Um, I feel like if he wouldn't have been caught, he would have been a, a serial killer. Well, that makes sense. He was heading in that direction. Because he got away with it once. He thought he could have got away with it again. If he would have got away with it again, he would have continued to keep trying to get away with it. That's what she's saying. Like, the reason why he did it a second time was because he got away with it one time. And I'm just wondering if there's not anybody before Natalie. I don't know. I can't really say, but um, that's not that clear. I know that there's probably other SA victims, but, um, yeah, he's, he was, he was headed that way if he wasn't already and we just don't know about it. There's definitely that energy around. Well, thank God he's arrested. Yeah. I mean, there's some kind of karma and stuff happening. Although it's not specifically for, you know, what happened to her. Um, all right. So, pulled some cards. Um, I think I was done channeling her. I'm pretty tired. Let's see. So, the cards basically validate. So, these cards. Let's see. Uh, contamination of DNA evidence may be influencing the case, which we won't really ever know. Uh, jealousy and affair or love-related crime. And killer has a history of committing crimes. So we know there all of go. that is right. Then we have random area. 
proper burial, DNA, which we don't know, but probably more than likely, uh, poison, which I take as the drugs, um, fingerprints, which we don't know, argument, pretty sure, over mm -hmm. him trying to get what he wanted, blackmail, because he blackmailed the mom, affair, which basically, you know, he tried to do whatever he did, public building, um, stranger, which he was, hand, fist, etc., and phone call message. So, oh, that phone... He froze. Uh oh, Lizzie froze. Lizzie froze in time. Uh oh. Oh, Lizzie froze in time. Let's see if she comes back real quick because she wanted to talk about. She looked something up about the phone call and I don't remember what she said now. So, um. She's still frozen backstage. I think she was trying to say that there was a phone call that was made or a text message or something like that or both. Um, and she's back. And I'm back. Sorry about that. But um, what I was saying about the phone call and text message and stuff, I don't know if I'm saying the brother's names right. Um, Calpo, he had called them uh, that night and then I guess texted 45 minutes later to say he was home. And then I guess he they got into an argument right in front of the judge because it seemed like he was trying to point fingers at at the brothers. So there was an argument it, like in court, but who knows what was said during that phone call. Yeah. Also, um, not only did she get a scholarship, uh, but she graduated with honors as well. Um, and the other thing was, is I guess there was a lot of excessive drinking on this trip to the point that the hotel said that they, uh, were not going to be, uh, welcome back like the next, like the next year. Uh, and it was like day drinking, night drinking. So that's probably why I feel drunk the entire reading. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could could very well be. I but I do, but I mean it even came up in the cards. I do think she was drugged. I really do. Yeah. Because I literally heard her say in her voice, and usually I just hear it as thoughts, but I heard it in her voice saying, I really don't, you know, I don't feel good. Yeah. Like to him, like she was telling him like she didn't feel good. <laughs> so I mean, I don't get all the details. I I get what I they feel is most important, what they can show to me. And I think the way that it's coming across as this probably happened on the beach somewhere near that site and mm. somehow he got her there and there was a phone call at some point probably it, it, i saw him standing over her calling so at some point he called and there was some sort of talking with him and another guy i don't know if they came to help that's how i took it but it could just be anything yeah, because, I mean, they all did leave together, you know, yeah. whether the brothers dropped them off and left or whether they stayed or what, yeah. you know. I don't know. I don't know if this was a good reading. I tried. It's it's an old case and, you know, um, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's accurate. Older cases are sometimes hard. It depends. But the energies with it right now. And like I said, she was coming at, She was coming forward probably because of her birthday. Yeah. I just think that's, that's amazing that's, I got that. I think that's amazing I got that. Because that I wasn't is, expecting that at all. That is crazy that it's it's tomorrow. You know, the 21st, her, um, her birthday. And I mean, the card you pulled, it <sighs> goes right with the reading you got. So don't be you too know, hard on crazy, You know what was crazy is I kept hearing, uh, I didn't say it, but I kept hearing 21st, 21st. And I was thinking 21st birthday. It was nobody's 21st birthday. Like that's how I was taking it. Uh -uh. And I didn't say it because I was thinking she was trying to say it was like someone's 21st birthday, you know. So yeah. I didn't say it, but it was because of the birthday. So that's why she was saying 21. Yeah, but 
I was taking it as an age, so I didn't say it. But then that's why she gave me the birthday. Like, she brought in the birthday coming up. Yep. So now it makes sense. But, dang it. I did that again. Well. <laughs> I always, uh, my I logical mind, it's my Libra and my Aquarius <laughs> fighting each other all the time. Who would have ever, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't know her birthday was was tomorrow, you know? I didn't either, but the way she said it was 21st, and so I was thinking, like, you know, 21st yeah. birthday was the way I was thinking it, but I'm tired, so. I probably just perceived it wrong, and then I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't realize the twenty first was coming up. Otherwise, I'd have been like, "Oh, it's the twenty one. But see, my twenty the the twenty seemed off. The eight seemed off. So I was afraid to say numbers. <laughs> no, you're no. And the twenty wasn't off. He got he got twenty years for extorting the mother. Yeah, I guess. You know, so that wasn't that wasn't off. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, now it does, I guess. But it just didn't click that we were almost to the, uh, what she meant by 21st. I should have said it. Anyways, dumb. But she got it that it was going to be her birthday. Anyways, that was surprising enough for me. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I seem a little off. I seem a little off. I think I'm just, I don't know. Probably from the reading and how you were feeling because you were getting tired. that rape. I was, rape. yeah, I was tired anyways. I did a lot of stuff today. So anyways, thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing. We'll see. We'll see you guys as soon as possible next time. Bye, we everybody. Hope to see you soon. We do appreciate your support and hanging out with us as, you know, I'm trying to get through my schedule. So oh, thanks guys.